In order to connect to the internet, you'll need a telephone modem, an ethernet adapter, or a wireless adapter in your computer. A telephone connection to the internet is known as a dial-up connection. This is the cheapest way to connect, but it's also the slowest. For a telephone line modem, look for the V.92 spec, which will make sure you get the fastest connection available. An ethernet adapter in your computer allows you to connect to a high-speed cable or DSL modem using an Ethernet cable. Most motherboards include an Ethernet port built in. A wireless adapter connects without the need for cables. DSL and cable modems are available in most cities in America. If they aren't available in your area, there's a third connection option through a satellite dish, which also uses an Ethernet adapter. Do a Google search for satellite internet to see what's available in your area. For those outside the U.S., check locally for high-speed internet options. The services cost from between $15 to $45 a month, depending on the download speeds. Download speeds range from 150 kilobits per second at the low end to 10 megabits per second and more at the high end. In addition, if you have more than one computer in your home, you can use the Ethernet adapter or a wireless adapter to share the internet connection with all of your computers. This is done by connecting the computers together through a device called a router. Connecting computers together with a router also lets you share files and printers between computers. The Ethernet adapter should support at least 100 megabits per second speed. Newer adapters and motherboards can support 1000 megabits per second Ethernet, also known as gigabit Ethernet. If you want to share devices on an Ethernet network at gigabit speeds, you need to buy a gigabit router. Wireless adapters come in either 802.11G or N specifications. The G spec runs at around 50 megabits per second. The N spec runs at up to 300 megabits per second. Both G and N adapters cost between $20 for a basic adapter that connects through a USB port or up to $100 for a PCI card adapter. You are mostly paying for signal reception. The better the reception, the further away the computer can be from the wireless router. Keep in mind that even in a large house, a decent $20 to $30 wireless adapter will have no problem staying connected to the router. Since the data is going through the air, you need to consider security. For this, look for the WPA or WPA2 security specification on both the wireless adapter and wireless router. Enabling either of these modes on both the adapter and the router, along with a strong encryption key, will make sure your network and all your data is secured from others who may try to access your network without your permission. For help in setting up a secure wireless or wired network for your home, check out the Home Network Builder videos available on our website, www homepcbuilder.com. Telephone line modems, Ethernet adapters, and basic wireless adapters all cost between $10 and $30. You just have to decide on the speed of internet connection and file sharing you need. In the installation lessons, we're also installing a PCI wireless network adapter.